Let's dive right in. In this video, I'm featuring Molecule Pack 1, which consists of 10 common and simple molecules. In the future, I hope to have a larger number of molecules, but the points discussed here will apply to all of those as well. I've previously released videos on making molecules, proteins, and crystals, and if you have a specific thing you'd like to make, I'll link those videos in the description. These are pre-made and cleaned up molecules that you can adjust to your own liking rather than have to go through all the steps of making them. They all share the same shaders for different elements, which we can see in the Materials tab. Each model has a subdivision surface modifier of 2, which is hidden in the viewport to smooth performance, and these models render pretty well in EV or cycles. In terms of customization, if you want to adjust the size of the molecules or the shading, we can do that very easily. Simply grab the molecule you'd like to change, tab into edit mode, and then you can select the individual parts by pressing L for link selected. To simply grab multiple parts, you can either grab by common features such as material, or you can just continue pressing L to separate either the bonds or the atoms. To change the materials on the molecules, you can either make changes to the shaders specifically, or you can press L to grab something like the bonds and then apply a single material to all of them so that everything is uniform if that is an approach that you'd like to use. We can also either delete bonds by simply selecting them and then hitting X and deleting them, or we can change their size by pressing L to grab the bonds and just the bonds, and then hitting Alt and S, and then using those to scale either in or out. So we can have very slim bonds, as you can see here, or we can have much thicker bonds, as you can see here. And this is stylistic preference. To change the size of the atoms, simply press L to select the atoms that you would like to change, period, so that you can choose individual origins, and then use S to scale, and this will allow you to make either larger or smaller balls. If you wanted a model where it was simply the balls, you could simply scale them until they intersected or until the bonds were hidden. You can also delete the bonds, of course. Because all of these molecules are made the same way, this approach will work for any of them, regardless of which molecule pack you're using. The molecule packs can be found on either the CG Figures page on Gumroad or, hopefully, on BlendSwap if you specifically require a CC0 license, though everything will be released for free. So, as always, thanks for coming out. If you found this interesting or useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.